Ninja Fools, and we are back on Arc Survival Evolved in our Valguero series. So today, um, it's kind of a, it's a little bit of like a mix of a sad day and a happy day. Um, this will probably be my last Arc recording for a while. I do have a video coming out explaining as to why that is, um, but right now we're not going to focus on that. Um, since it'll be the last episode for a while, we're going to go out with a bang. And I have something really cool planned for you guys. So... Um, this area is new. We are actually here on the map. We're right on the border of the, uh, map. And our location is 0.963.5. So, literally right here is the wall. So, we're in probably one of the safest places on the map. But anyway, uh, I have built this big giant fortress here, um, for not only breeding, but uh, homing all of our flyers. So over here is this nice little hut. This is for hatching. Um, just figure it'd be easier this way. And then in here is like, uh, I have my workshop and my house all in one. I've got um, space up here for smaller flyers like, uh, you know, the dimorphodons and all of that good stuff. And then up top is where I keep all my other birds. So the pteranodons are normally right in here. Um, they're outside and I'll explain that here in a minute as to why. And then up top will be for the bigger birds. Um, maybe wyverns. We'll see if there's enough space. I don't think there will be. But I have my Argentavis is up here. So you guys may be wondering why I built a fortress out here in the snowy region. Well, I got to thinking about it, and it wouldn't make much sense to have all the birds trying to follow me from one place to the other when it came to uh, going into the wyvern cave. So we're actually not too far from the wyvern cave. It's right over there. And um, in order to get fire wyverns, you have to go further into the trench. And that is fairly dangerous. So I figured, why not have pteranodons following me in to help me? So you may worry about these guys dying, and that's honestly okay because I do have eggs for all of them. Uh, they're all safely put away here in the preserving bin next to my workshop. So we've got plenty of eggs. So if some of them die, it's okay because I have plenty more. Now my main concern is the one I'm flying on to die. However, I do have a parachute, so we should be okay. Um, I do have a bunch of junk in my inventory from picking up drops. I'm not worried about it right now. Um, let's go ahead and put all the stuff we will need in our slot. So we'll need like a crossbow. So apart from grabbing uh, wyvern eggs today, we are going to also be going after the artifact of the Sky Lord, I do believe. Um, that's what I was told was in this one based on the information I looked up. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get the main three to follow us. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and fly down there. This will probably look like a mess because we have, granted I'd prefer the three just following me over the <laughs> whole five or six of them. But this will be easier. Um, also, when it comes to being attacked, they will also attack since they're fairly close. So we're just going to go in here and do this. Um, I'm not worried about ice wyvern eggs right now, so that's not our focus since we've already done that once. We're just going to go in and fight. I'm hoping that we don't have to worry too much about other things like um, the arthropleuras and the praying mantises down here. It's just, it's going to be crazy down here. So I'm hoping that we can kind of get what we're after and get out. Alright, let's do this. So this is a whole circle, so there's two entrances, but right here is the bigger one, which is what we're going to focus on. Since it's really dangerous down here, it is super fiery. This place is absolute hell. But we'll, we'll be looking for eggs and also um, the artifact. There's an egg right here. So, this will be the biggest mess, is them all, like, flying around, but... Okay, we got an egg. I don't know... I haven't seen an, a wyvern yet, but I know they're in here. There's another egg. Ooh. We're trying to be quick about this. We don't want to die. Oops. 
There is a pathway down in here if you want to travel on foot, but we're not about that. We don't want to die today. Um, it is very dangerous down here, and it's really scary. The artifact should be down in here. It is on a platform right around the lava, so we have to be really careful. There's a pathway right here. Oh, this is the dead end. Where are all the wyverns at? Oh my god, this is so terrifying. I'm gonna go ahead and take the artifact real quick. Artifact of the Skylord. We'll see if there's any more eggs real quick. I think there's one. I thought I saw one when I was flying around earlier. Ugh, that lag. Yep, there's one right there. Trying to, I'm wondering where all the wyverns are at. I didn't come in here and clear them out beforehand. Oh, there's. There we go. Get them. Um, <laughs> My pteranodons are on fire. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. We're gonna get out of here. We got three wyvern eggs. Hopefully we don't have to worry about them being, um... Those eggs that, like, randomly despawn. We'll just have to get out of here. And I don't think there's any other artifacts. I haven't seen any. I didn't see any other cave entrance. And there was a cave entrance down in the trench on the other side, but that was also leading to this area, so... We're just gonna get out of here while we can. Looks like we are safe now. <laughs> oh, that was intense there for a second. It got really hairy there. I think I think everyone's accounted for too. They're all just flying around me like a damn whirlpool. And maybe we can grab an ice wyvern egg. I don't know. I don't see any ice wyverns. See if we can find an egg real quick. There's one right there. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, well, we are safe. We're safe out of harm's way it looks like. I am I believe everyone's accounted for. I will check the feed here in a second and see if anybody died, but I didn't see any deaths up there. Alright, everyone can stop now. Okay. We're gonna have to get on top of some of these other pteranodons and also I'll stop for them too because of the other ones following them. And this is a perfect place for, um, or this is like a perfect format for like farming too. So if you want to get a whole bunch of wyvern eggs, it's pretty ideal. Alright, we're going to put our uh, wyvern eggs in here for right now. So we got a level 25 one, a level 15, a level 85 ice wyvern, and a level 25 fire one. Alright, we'll head back down to our home base real quick. And then when we come back, we'll probably see if we can maybe hatch an egg. I don't know. We'll probably hatch a fire, the, one of the fire eggs down there because I actually have a place for it already. Whereas here I'd have to set up. See, there's no standing torches in here at all. Yeah, we'll take one of the fire eggs. We'll probably just do like the level 15 one. It'll be easiest. The others will be safe and sound up here. There's plenty of spark powder in there. I, 
think the birds will be okay here. They're all attached to the trough, it looks like, except maybe, like, lemonade. Okay. All right, Camille. Let's go. Hey, you guys, we are here. Sorry about the loading. As you guys can tell, our golem is happily just staring out into space over there. Um, it was kind of hard getting him out of, out of the trap up there with the... Yeah, you'll have to excuse all the wolves, but they all have fully matured and we're having a wonderful multicolored pack. But anyway, it was hard getting him out of that trap with the cryopod, so we kind of struggled there for a minute. Alright, let's go ahead and light all these up. So it's, since it is a fire wyvern, we might need to go get more material to light these torches. Which is to drop. Okay. It says it's too cold. Okay. We'll go grab some more stuff, but we can also put up our Sky Lord artifact as well. I'm gonna toggle tame names because that's a little too much right now. Okay. Ooh, get stuck on the door. Um, so uh, next time you'll probably see that some of these creatures are missing. I may move them to other bases just due to the fact that the lag is super real right now. It'll just make more sense. Okay. Back to the sky, Lord. There we go. Looks brilliantly pixelated. Okay. Now we just need to grab some material for those torches, and we should be good. There. Now hopefully it doesn't all burn. If it does, I've got some spark powder here somewhere. Let me see. I think it's in this one. Yep, there's some spark powder right there. And what we'll do is we'll just put that into one of the torches too. Okay, let's go. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and try this again. There we go, incubating. So it's got about five minutes left. Um, what we're going to do is grab some meat from the trough here. Ooh. Oh, everyone's starving over here. That's a good time. fill up real quick. I'll have to go on a meat run here soon. That way everybody can eat over here too without trying to eat our wyvern. Well, Jesus. Were you all that hungry? Probably almost out of meat now. Just about. I'll keep the 40 on me. Alright. So the egg's still incubating, and once it hatches, we'll be back. Okay, you guys, we have about 15 seconds left. This egg has been incubating perfectly, so we haven't had to really worry about anything being too cold or too hot. And that's really worked out for us because I don't have any standing torches or really anything else to help us out. Oh no, I knew this was going to happen. I knew we were going to get at least three. Where's the other one? Okay. We're just going to go ahead and uh, split this up. There, that one has some. <laughs> I put two cryopods in my inventory and I was like, or in my hot bar, and I was like, just you wait, it's gonna be all three 
going to hatch all at once. There we go. Awesome. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to demolish this. I mean, it's no, no big deal. Now all three of them should follow us over here, hopefully. What, what are you doing? What you doing? Okay, we're just gonna scoop this one up real quick. Why? Mm, I think you'll be okay out here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the cryopods when they do that. We'll just put this food back in its inventory. It should be alright. There we go. Now it's going to try... No, it's not because it's in the cryopod. Okay. What are you doing? Stupid. There we go. God. Let me just deck this wyvern in the face real quick. Alright. Pick this meat up. Okay. We're gonna have to move all of you. Y'all are just right in the way. We'll listen to them call us. Or are you gonna get stuck on the walls? I'm not gonna get stuck on the hyena dots. I really should have cleaned this up a little bit. It's going to take forever trying to organize this. Come on. There we go. Hurry up. Your siblings are struggling here. Yeah, this one's already a juvenile. These ones are still babies. Which is okay. There we go. All nice and organized now. I'm gonna move these two real quick. And then we still have two wyvern, fire wyvern eggs, and an ice wyvern egg <laughs> back at the, at the, at the stronghold, so <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. Oh my goodness. Alright, Kyla, you can stand over there just for a little bit. Okay, you guys, so... This was a little crazier than I anticipated it would be. I was honestly thinking it would be maybe just one egg, but... You know, one egg with one baby, but... Eh, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little fast-paced, but I was trying to get it all done. Um, we're trying to get everything in order, and I said in the very beginning that I would explain everything in a in a separate video as to what's going on. I will be back on Valguero. I'm not giving up on it or anything like that. I'm not going to abandon it. There's so much more that we still need to explore and do in the game. So anyway, you guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll get back to you on those. And I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!